Okay, hello, welcome to VimCast. I know right now this setup is not complete yet. There's all this stuff. Uh, I'm right now just at home. My family's down in Florida. And I just thought, hey, why don't I just get started and record a small VimCast episode? Because I need to do it. I gave this project a name. Gotta finish it. Gotta do it. Gotta make my first video. Gotta start getting people in. So, yeah. Ah. Alright. So, first, we are gonna talk about network neutrality. Network neutrality is when you actually have to pay when you go on a site or search bar. This is um, the company's. Or should I say the um, uh, network providers want people to pay money to use Facebook. Pay money to do a tweet. Pay money to even search something on Google. I know. Like, that's just unreal. That's just unreal. And um, with that comes... A, with, if that does get passed... There will be a lot of poor people in the states. Basically, uh, here in Canada, we don't exactly have any of that. That is good, for one thing. We can probably get more people here to live here in Canada. Uh, it will be bad because then all of our prices will go up for housing. Number two... They might want to do what they are doing down in the States. That's the thing. I don't want us to have network neutrality. The reason why is because, well, technically my family will be broke in about a day, basically. Uh, same with a lot of people. Same with colleges and schools. Network neutrality will be the death of all of us. And, um, yeah. Um, network neutrality, uh, the price per everything might fluctuate between companies. So, like, Bell, if they even have Bell down there, I believe they do, um, they might have it two dollars to search something on Google Google while Rogers might have eight dollars and for Facebook Bell might you might have to pay ten dollars for Facebook and uh, Rogers might have you pay twenty or thirty dollars to use Facebook same with Netflix and all those other places. Alright, next thing on the agenda will be about video games. I know, you're probably like, ah, uh, video games, really? But video games are always advancing within months or years. Um, I remember back in 2005, playing on my GameCube. Some of you might be like, what is a GameCube? A GameCube was the best console back in 2005. I think that's when I got it. Yeah, somewhere around there. <laughs> um, it was the best console. Um, it's missing portable. It has like a little ha um, hang thing where you can go and take it to other people's houses. You can have up to four players and the controllers were not were like very cheap too. It was all cheaply built, but it was wonderful back then. That's like literally all what I was playing all the time. Even when I had my Xbox 360, when it was still relevant, I was still playing GameCube because it was just the best with how, with all the games that I had. I love the Lego games, which actually I still play them on my um, Xbox 360. GameCube, and I'll have them on my uh, computer, because why not? Alright, next thing 
But you know, I didn't fully explain computer like gaming, did I? No, I didn't. All right, so the Xbox One, the Xbox One X, Xbox One Ten, I guess. Xbox One X uh, came out like about uh, a month ago. I know my Xbox One is basically broken. And you're all probably wondering why I haven't bought the Xbox One. Because I don't want to. Um, the Xbox One, just the normal Xbox One, is great. As it is. I don't need to play in 4K. I only need to play in 1080p. And um, also, why why get an Xbox X, Xbox One X when I already have a gaming computer where I can play games in either 1080p, 720p, 4K, 2K, 8K? Oh my God! And also, plus I spent like eh, close to a thousand dollars. Wait, no, four thousand dollars in games on Steam alone. So why not? Why get a console and spend that much money again and stuff all right um all right so since we just did a bit of talking about the xbox one x i just think it must be relevant to uh, talk about the playstation 4 pro 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 oh yeah i know you're probably thinking um why are you gonna talk about the playstation 4 we never had a playstation michael I used to play uh, PS Go, I know, the PlayStation uh, equivalent for game for computers, where you stream a game and you play it, and you get great quality when your when your internet is actually doing something. Um, the reason why I'm talking about it is because it's basically like the Xbox One X. It's just it's the PlayStation Four equivalent. We you got to play in 4K, enhanced uh, gameplay. Basically, it's just all 4K. You're just buying the Xbox 4, but you can play in 4K. That's it. You get nothing new. That's it. You might get a game with it. Yeah. But here's the thing. Not a lot of games nowadays, well, right now, are made for 4K resolution. I know, because I've tried. And trust me, they don't look amazing in 4K. Because it's just upscaling it by 4 and stuff. And trust me, that doesn't look good at all. But, um, place... Basically, whatever Microsoft does, PlayStation has to do. Whatever PlayStation has to do, Microsoft, Microsoft has to do. And Nintendo, they just are over there doing their own thing. I know about the Switch. I know about all this other stuff, the Wii U and stuff. But I'm not, I don't exactly like those game systems. So I'm going to stay away from them. Woohoo! Yeah. Um... If you want me to do a a talk about just Nintendo, because I have a 3DS and all this other crap from Nintendo, um, put it in the comments below what you want me to talk about, what you want me to talk about, and what games you want me to talk about as well, uh, without spoilers. Alright, now we are going to talk about the Star Wars Universe! Ah. Do, 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 do. Wait, no. That's the uh, Game of Thrones. Da, da. Nope, damn. Whatever. <laughs> I don't want to have any copyright shit on this thing. Alright, um, basically, um, as we know, Star Wars Battlefront 2 came out. Uh, I did a small video on that. Go on to my main chat, my VG, VG Impulse channel to go and watch it. It was great, but will I buy it? No. Reason why? Because it's just Star Wars Battlefront 2 on Steam just me just revamped. That's it. And you don't get to play Darth Vader. Darth Vader is like the best one out there. The best 
anti-hero character. Anti-hero? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to say anti-hero. Um, and stuff. Um, Star Wars The Last Jedi came out. I'll be seeing it in a few days, hopefully. Um, all I've heard is great things about it. It has done better than any of the other Star Wars movies. And, um, I can't wait to see my channel back on the big screen. And actually say some words. Um, and stuff. And, um, can't wait to actually see Carrie Fisher again on the big screen. Sad that she, uh, died. Sad. Very sad. Very sad. I was down in Florida in the to uh, during that time. I heard that Carrie Fisher died. I couldn't take it anymore. And then a day later, I heard De Debbie Reynolds died. Uh, that was the horriblest two days of my life. Because I'm a big Star Wars fan. Let's talk about... Since we're, let's stay on the Star Wars topic for about a few more minutes. Alright, now let's talk about lightsabers. There's a blue lightsaber, which is, we all know, Jedi Knight. Green, Jedi Council, or something. Something known as the best Force user, a.k.a. Master Yoda. Craig Gungeon, and all those other guys. Purple, well, we all know that, like, Samuel Jackson wanted to have a purple lightsaber to stand out. But things that you guys might not know from the comics is that they are meant for Jedis who dabble in the Sith arts, but come back to the light side and use that knowledge. And also their anger in lightsaber battles. As the anger really um, makes the hits of the lightsaber and the anger, you will win. If you don't use anger against another angry user, you will die. Basically, unless you are Obi Wan or Qui Gon Jinn, and then you win. <laughs> and then there's also red. We all know that Sith, but you might not know yellow. Yellow are for the um, Temple Guards. Basically, they're Jedi Jedi's who are set to go and take down the Sith secretly. Uh, without the knowledge of the other Jedi's. But you might not know who these guys are. They are Jedi's who want to be in secret, basically. Um, so, at one point, in the comics, Qui-Gon Jinn was a temple guard. But then he unluckily asked to train someone. Before anyone else. So they automatically took him through the trials again. He passed and then he became a Jedi, a Jedi Knight and stuff. Um, and so forth. Then there's also Orange, which is meant for people who are more in tune with nature. Uh, basically, remember the, Yo the uh, Wookiee Jedi from Attack of the Clones? Uh, animated series. He had, I believe, an orange lightsaber. Is it that or during the comics when there was a Wookiee that had an orange lightsaber? Because he was very in tune with the Force. And, um, yeah, that's the ending of this, uh, short video. Well, podcast video slash audio stuff on SoundCloud. This is VG Impulse. Signing out. See ya, boys.